what's up youtube nation welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you guys how to install this beautiful red wig if you're not subscribed be sure you subscribe like comment and also check that description box down below so this hair was sent to me by moon magic hair if you guys are not familiar with this hair or you're not familiar with any other social media sites they will give you five dollars for posting it on instagram and twenty dollars for sharing a video on youtube so here is the hair that it comes packaged in they also sent me some beautiful lashes. They sent me an elastic band for the wig. And they also sent me a wig cap, which I won't be using. But I will be using the lashes when I do my makeup. So this is the hair. It comes in this hair net. And it comes protected with the little ball of paper in the inside. Now one thing I did like about this hair, it already came pre-parted, but it is free parted hair. But I always struggle with a middle part and having the hair lay flat. I think that's what I like most about this hair. Also, the parting is amazing. The parting go all the way back. I like far back parts. But first things first, we have to get our wig cap straight. So, I'm just going to take some freeze blasts and put that all on the front of the wig. So, when I cut it, it don't go anywhere. I feel like this is one of my best wig installs that I ever done. I got plenty of videos on how I installed my wigs, like the honey blonde one, but I feel like I really took my time with this one. Also, I think the lace was invisible. I think it was a transparent lace. So now that I'm done customizing my ball cap, I am cutting off that lace in the back of the hair. And now I'm just trying it on to make sure the hair will be to my liking. As you guys can see, the parting goes down there to the middle of my head. <laughs> but that's okay. I like that. I'm just going to brush it out. And like I said, make sure I have the cap to my liking. I was checking for any shed and it barely sheds at all. And that's the length that will be in the back. I low key wish I would have got a little, little, little bit longer, like an 18 or 20 inch, but it's okay. I made it work. I'm only five two and a half, so short hair don't look that short on me. And because the parting goes all the way to the back, I had to put the foundation all the way to the back of the ball cap. Normally, I just do halfway in the front, but I'm gonna be putting it all in the back as well. So here I'm just showing you guys that it is free parting. You can part the hair wherever you want and it still goes all the way to the back. And then I'm going to take this here hair clip and I'm going to start pinning the hair in the back so I can start gluing it down with my ghost bond glue.
And to make sure none of the flyaways get in the way, I'm gonna take some Tresemme mousse and I'm gonna move all that hair to the back and now I'm gonna pin that lace backwards. And this is self-explanatory. Like I said, I have a few videos already on what I'm doing here. The only difference I did was instead of doing layer, blow dryer, layer, blow dryer, I'll put the layers on top of each other. I'll move my cone through the glue until it's clear. And then I'll put the second layer or the third layer. Now, I did realize that you can see the stocking cap a little bit through the wig in the parting area. The only thing I did not do was tint this lace. I normally take my foundation and tint the lace, but this time I decided not to. But you feel free to tint it if you want to. It's up to you. It wasn't that bad for me. I always like to take my hair and... Pull it probably a good centimeter above the ball cap, just a little bit. But it's totally up to you if you want to tint your lace wig or not. Like I said, this wig is very, very transparent. I barely could like, you know, how you got to bleach the hair and all that stuff. I didn't have to do any of that. But you don't really have to do that with color wigs anyway. But yeah, it ended up coming out amazing, so... So I took some more of that Tresemme to get any more flyaways out the way. That way I don't cut the hair. And now we're going to cut the lace. I decided to cut as close to my lace as possible to the point where I did cut a little bit of hair. But it was just extra hair that was unneeded. So yeah, it, it ended up working out. So I did have a few areas that were not glued down. So to mark where I would put the glue so it won't go too far, I took a red lip liner and I outlined the glue right before the lip liner. Sorry guys, I be, y'all know I can't talk words down so I be trying to break my words down. <laughs> So 
to remove all the extra glue and that lip liner, I took a little bit of alcohol and just rubbed my face just a little bit. And now I'm going to pin my hair up in a ponytail and then I'm going to tie the hair scarf around my hair and that'll give it an extra lay down. That way it will lay flat, it will look pretty, it will look nice and... I let that sit probably the whole time I did my makeup. In fact, I did let it sit the whole time I did my makeup. So, it took me about 30, 40 minutes for me to do my makeup. That's how long I let this lace melt into my skin. Alright, and here is the completed lay down, meltdown of this lace. You guys, I really, 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 really was feeling myself with this wig. I even was feeling my makeup. I even tried new foundation out and concealer. Now, the foundation was a little bit too bright, but that concealer was just right. Like, ooh. This how it's looking in the back. So, it's all pretty. Uh, they recommend that you don't sleep with it. I slept with it. Today is the next day, and it's fine. So, yeah. These are just a few Snapchat clips. Me feeling myself. So, be sure you like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in my next video.